Welcome to Exomage Trick number 774. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Exomage Trick 770 775, click on the link directly below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about uh, data validation list. Now, I have a bunch of videos, data, the basics of data validation uh, list from one sheet or a different sheet, 548, dynamic data validation, 549, and even a data validation list based on a second data validation list, that's 540, and even a dynamic list in uh, ExoMagic Trick 259. But this one, uh, in 259, we actually ha see how to do this trick. And here it is. We need to select a name from a drop down here, which will then, once we select it, change the drop down menu here. So this is called a dependent data validation that's going to be reliant on whatever's in this cell. Now in 259, we did it with the table feature. In this video, we want to do it with formulas. And boy, this amazing trick right here comes from Contextures, just an amazing Excel site for anything you want to do with Excel. All right, now here it is. I have, um, for the fast catch event, I use these boomerangs. And I want to be able to add names over here. So as the, the list expands, I want this drop down to expand. That's the dynamic part of the data validation. However, I want to be able to either put fast catch in this cell or trick catch in this cell, and then have this cell know to go to the next list. Well, the first thing is we need to add data validation here. So I'm going to go to data validation or data validation right there, or Alt. DL. That works in all versions. Now, what do I want to allow? I want to allow a list. And what is the source? It's right here. So from now on, there'll be a drop down. There's uh, in cell drop down. I'm going to click OK. But now, once I select fast catch or trick catch, I need a dynamic data validation to happen here. Well, we're going to build um, a formula, and it's going to rely on some defined names. The first trick is I'm going to name this cell, which is the first cell in the range, fast catch. And then I'm going to name the first cell in this range, trick catch. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to highlight this. And I'm noticing that there's a name there and there. And I want this cell named that and this cell named that. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift 3. That's create names from selection. I'm going to say only the left column. By the way, if I had highlighted a bunch more here, the whole range would be given that name. But the fact that I have just one cell, boom, that's going to be the name. I'm going to click OK. And now I can prove this to myself. Click somewhere else, come over here, say Fast Catch. I can see that's the cell. And Trick Catch, that's the cell right here. Now, I'm going to highlight as far over as I think my list will expand, except for, I'm going to Control Home. I'm only going to, for this video, highlight two extra cells just to illustrate that as I add new data here, uh, it will expand. But you would highlight and name this uh, for whatever size range you want. Now I'm going to come up here. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to copy this so I get it the same exact size. I'm going to go to H. Now I'm going to name that range. I'm going to click in the name box. Control V, and now I'm going to type the word range. Now with names, there's some characters that are not allowed, one of which is uh, a space. So I'm going to not include a space. So that's named fast catch range. I'm going to do the same thing here, copy, and uh, highlight all the way to H. Control V, and then type range, and enter. That registers the name. Registers the name. Now I'm going to test. Uh, fast catch range. Notice I have the answers here because I always have the answer sheet down here. But here it is, fast catch range. All right, it got that right. And uh, tr trick catch range. So the key here is that this is named trick catch. And then this whole range right here is called trick cat catch range. Again, you want to be sure and highlight it as far out as you think the, uh, as, as you need. Now we're going to have to create a formula. We're going to do the same thing as we did over here to create data validation. Use that source, but in that source drop down, there's going to be a formula. So I'm just going to build the formula right here. We're going to actually use the offset function. The offset function is an amazing function. All it does is it defines a range. Now there's five arguments in offset. The first um, part, argument is, hey, Reference, which is the first 
cell in the range. Well, notice we have this data validation that changes. Right now, it is considered text, but we know that we have a name stored up here, and the name of that first cell is trick catch. Well, if I went like this, offset wouldn't know. If I double click that and highlight it and hit the F9 key to evaluate it, you can see that quotes are around it. That means Excel thinks it's text. No problem. There's a function that's purpose specifically is to take text and convert it to a reference. We're going to call this the indi I mean it's the indirect function. I'm going to lock that right there. So all indirect does is you give it a reference as text and it will convert it to uh, the actual reference. So I'm going to highlight this and hit F9. You can see it gives me the uh, quad there, but it is delivering the cell. Control Z. Now, what are we? Gonna, that's the starting position and offset. Now, from that starting position, how many rows do you want to go down or up? That means move the starting position. We don't want any, so I'm going to hit comma to get to that argument, and then comma to skip it. Columns means how many columns left or right do you want to move from the starting position. Since we're not moving the starting position, we don't want anything, so comma. The default for these first two arguments are 0, so if you leave it blank, it's 0. The height is for us is always going to be 1. The default is 1, so we're going to leave it out. Width, that's the variable part of this. We don't know how wide it is. No problem. We can say count a, uh, and we count a counts non-empty cells. And guess what? That whole range there, and again, I only have two blank cells, but yours would have a lot more. If we could just count that whole range, it would give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But wait a second, this drop down, this whole formula has to be relying on this. Oh, but trick catch and then the word range. So watch this. We can go, and I'm going to hit F4, and then the join symbol to create our second reference as text. So ampersand, shift 7, that joins, and then in quotes, range. All right, and we can prove to ourselves that this is the text. We highlight it and hit F9, trick catch range. That text can't be recognized by the count of function, so we're actually going to put it inside of indirect, just as we did uh, a little while ago with our first, that one there. All right, now I'm going to highlight this and hit the F9 key. Now notice just that range gives us 0, 0, 0 because it sees 0, 0. Oh, no, this is trick catch. So 1, 2, 3, 4, it gives us the first, and then 0, 0, 0, because there's nothing there. Control Z. But what happens if we use counter on this? It's going to give us the number 4, because there's 1, 2, 3, 4 things, which is exactly the width of our range. So I'm going to hit F9. Control Z. So width, here's the starting position. We took all the defaults, uh, which is 1 tall and 4 wide, that will work perfect. Offset now can define that range dynamically. I'm going to hit F9. You can see right now it goes to P. Carlotta. I'm going to Control Z and then um, Control Shift Enter just to enter it in. I'm just going to test it. I'm going to put a 3 here. I'm going to come down here, put it in edit mode, highlight it, and hit F9. Boom, it picked up the additional data as we add it this way. Control Z. I'm going to copy. I'm actually going to copy, including the equal sign. Control C, escape. I'm going to delete that. Now we come here, Alt D L, Tab L to get to list. That didn't work. Let me try that. Alt D L, Tab L, Tab to select the list and move forward. And now I'm going to Control V. There it is, right in the source dialog box you can put a formula that defines a range. Now, well, I have done some other videos where we did um, data validation custom and did a formula, but uh, I've never done one here until I saw this amazing post by uh, Contextures. All right, I'm going to click OK, and let's just test it. So Trick Catch gets to P. Carlota. Now, if I come over here and I want to select, um, or I want to add a new boomerang, so this is uh, the P2 Carlota, Phenolic 2 Carlota. So now I have this selected here, and now as I, uh, ooh, it totally dynamically updates. If I change this, Fast Catch, 
I'm going to pick the rad German here, but notice it only goes to the Bauer blade. I'll select the Bauer blade. If I come here and say fast, fast for F, FF for fast, fast, sure enough, now this will update. So that's dynamic data validation within a, a dependent data validation based on another cell. All right, see you next video.